record from here and now. We do need to scroll up another one now. What's up, what's up, people? What's going on? It's your boy Devante. Brittany can't come say what's up right now. She on the phone. My nigga Twan. What's up, people? Uh, ugly ass boy in the camera and shit. It's my best friend right there. It's my brother. got no boogers in my nose, dude. Nah, you good, playboy. It's my brother right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say if y'all see me, y'all will see him. Y'all seen the last videos and ain't seen him. <laughs> but out in public, if you see me, you'll probably see him. This my dog right here. But, you know, we just talking about some shit, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get right spiritually, moving nothing but positive energy, you know. I, what we were just talking about, I was telling Twan, I was like, I'm trying to get to a space now to where it's just like I know all the like all energy, you know, it, it, it goes and it comes back. You know what I'm saying? Good or bad. You know, you like just like you hear Nip saying this in one of his most recent interviews. Like you don't, you can't get past the universe. You feel me? They go. The universe is going is going to give to you what you give it. And there's a lot of people who put out negative energy towards you, and you can't control how nobody feel. You can't control how they respond to you, but they're going to put energy out how they're going to put energy out. And you got to still remain positive, still show them love. And that's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on. Toil, we you know, that's what we're both working on. And that's what I was you know saying. What I'm, saying? Got, I'm, happy. I'm struggling with that right now. That's what we both working on, because it ain't, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, but... Uh, but yeah, that's a. I thought that was like important, man. Yeah, you know, like, you know, for the people who know me and the people who don't know me, I go ahead and say like I'm. The past, what it's been like about a year now. I've been like changing my mindset. I was going through some, through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Going through some shit. And I was in a negative space. Nah, bro. Back to that deep ass combo we was having. Nah, but uh, yeah, man. And it's just like you was talking about some of them relationships, bro. Like, yeah, bro. I, I, we I know, we know how we want them. I ain't gonna <clears throat> state his name in the video, but yeah. you know. But that, that, bro. I had to call him, bro, because I just when he called me, bro. I felt the energy of all them niggas, the negative energy of all them niggas that I used to kick it. In the day, bro, I can't even kick it with you. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like this and we on the phone, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So I just, yeah. and I yeah. feel bad. Cause that was one of them niggas, bro. You know, he was, you know, he felt like, nah, bro. But it's just like you said, you, you know, the uni let, let, let universe take who it's gonna take, man. You know what I'm saying? Like people, man, don't nothing happen for no reason, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And everything that we going through is already in our cards. We just experienced what's written already, you feel me? So I'm just trying to just put number of positive energy out there because we got so much that we got and so many crazy things that we've all been dealing with been hard but we have like all of us just just that much more positive stuff that's about to manifest so we just trying to I'd be so I'd be so sad just thinking about Nip because that's just like what he was talking about in one of his interviews you know what I'm saying like just Focus on putting good energy out there. I'm always show love, and I'm just putting out positive energy, cause that's all me and mine need right now. Okay, what? You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to get, we ain't trying to get too deep with you. So what's up, beautiful people? In this video, uh, me and Antoine, and mind you, that conversation that me and Antoine just that y'all just watched between me and my best friend, we uh. That was a that was a couple of days ago, right? A lot of people gonna put whatever energy they're gonna put towards you. It could be positive. A lot of times it's negative energy, but that's really not your concern. You know, that's all that's all a reflection of themselves, you know, that energy that they put on you. And uh, you should never let it take you out of your character. You know what I'm saying? It should never let you switch your ways of just being positive and just showing love and you know just putting good energy out there and to manifest all the stuff that you want to manifest and just and just live your life how you want to live it and that's pretty much what that conversation was about and it was crazy with the timing how everything happened but um 
the very next day, me and Brittany was going, um, we gotta go back to the doctors for blood work and stuff like that, make sure everything with her is okay and stuff. And uh, head to the doctor's office and my car is not in front of my house. So I'm like, you know, there's only two things in my mind. It was either stolen or towed. Somebody had it towed. Now, I didn't think nobody stole it. I don't know. For whatever reason, I didn't feel like that was the case. And I had, you know, I asked the landlord, the person who owns the house, early this morning, early, early that morning, my car was still out there. Nobody heard, you know, no cops came and knocked on the door asking questions. Come to find out, the, my car was towed, and uh, the reason they said that it was towed was because the police called it in to them, telling them they needed to pick it up because it was called in as an abandoned vehicle. <laughs> an abandoned vehicle that moves and comes and goes every single day. The people, my neighbors, see me get out of my car constantly walking in and out of this house that I live in. And you know, we done been on road trips back and forth to St. Louis. I go to work all the time, going to my homie's crib, doc, whatever the reason is for me to be gone. The car is moved, you know what I'm saying? The car's in nice condition, you know what I'm saying? Like they didn't even do no investigation. Like they just picked the car up and just took them people word for it, saying that it was abandoned. Like, nobody knows the situation on that car. Granted, people see me coming in and out of it, but the people who actually called, they don't, they don't know what's up with that car. That could have been the owners of the house car, and they just getting involved in business that they have no business being involved in, getting people's stuff taken, and, you know, ruining people's situations without even knowing what's going find on. Find out. It was a house, two or three houses down from me. And mind you, the house I live in is not only on, not only at the top of a hill, but it's on a curb. You know what I'm saying? It's on a curb going up the hill. So all the houses that's down the hill at the bottom of the curb can't even see the house I live in or my car. So it shouldn't bother them. That there's always cars parked on the side of the road in this neighborhood. But for whatever reason, they called the cop, they called the cops on my car and got it towed. And I went over to the address that I was given, knocked on the door. They saw me outside, peeked out the window a couple of times, knew I was there, told them that I just wanted to talk and get some info on why they did what they did. No pressure, you know what I'm saying? I'm upset about the situation, but I'm not finna come over here and cuss nobody out. I'm not finna come over here and beat nobody ass or nothing like that. Because I, like I said, I was just speaking on moving differently, being more positive and just showing love regardless of the situation. Because I know whatever, I, whatever people are throwing at me, it's not, it, it ain't got nothing to do with me. It ain't based on me. It's all about how they feel about they self and their life and what they got going on. So the fact that this lady took it upon herself to make this action and make my life harder for the next few days, make me have to waste a bunch of time and money, that just speaks on how she's living her life. You know what I'm saying? About how she feel about her life. So I'm not upset. I just wanted answers. I just wanted somebody to tell me why they felt the need to get my car to I had Antoine go up there and knock on the door for me. They actually talked to him, but they didn't open the door for him. The lady just talked to him through her window, gave him hella attitude, and told him, told him to get off her porch. And when he said that you had my car towed and the police gave me your address and said, you're the one that called, she said, the police were lying gonna come out and confront us about it because she knows she fucked up and she knows she was wrong. She's not finna handle this like an adult. I'm not even gonna make it that serious of an issue to try to go to small claims or nothing and get back all the money and time that I had to spend to get my car out. But 
Cause it, it it really it really ain't even worth it. I just wanted that person to be adult enough, and well, she's a woman, so I say woman enough. I was about to say man enough, but woman enough to just talk to me face to face and just let me know why she had a car towed that had nothing to do with walk. Would be good exercise, handle business, and it, you know, I saw my girl just post a video. Um, talking about some story time, so I felt like you know what? Let me have a, let me have a story time of my own. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and as I'm trying to make sense of all of this, after the conversation me and my best friend had, after just thinking about the way that I've been thinking and you know trying to move and stuff like that, just wanting to be more positive. And just put more positive, just put nothing but positive energy out there. Don't let nothing affect me that I can't control. You know, the lady did what she did, but that's out of my control. I can't control what she's doing, how she feel. I can't control the police not investigating and asking questions. You know what I'm saying? I can't control the tow people who are just doing what they're told by the police. All of that's out of my control. So, you know, I'm practicing on not letting that get to me and affect me. I'm just going to take that on the chin and handle it. You know what I'm saying? Get past it because I know the only thing that makes sense to me is after all the stuff I've been talking about positivity, you know how the universe works. You asking for things, the universe wants to see you work for it and let the universe know that you really want it. And then it'll manifest for you. You can't just ask for stuff and think that it's going to fall. The only way I'm going to get better in that aspect and actually do those things is if people wrong me and the way that I handle it is showing love, being positive, not letting the negativity bring me down or bring my energy down or discourage me from keeping going and handling my business and doing the things that I want to do in my life. And I feel like that's the situation because you know the universe hears you it hears everything you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It, it knows everything you're thinking. It knows how you're feeling. So I'm just like, the only thing that makes sense to me is that this is a test. You know what I'm saying? This is a test. The universe is testing me. And I feel like I handled it very well. Um, if this was a year ago, it would have been a whole different situation. I, 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 I see that growth. And, you know, I just, I'm, I'm just trying to continue it. You know what I'm saying? Whether I get the answer or not, like I said, aside from all of that, I just feel like, you know, this is God. This is the universe testing me. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm just trying to handle it. It's been a crazy, it's been a crazy last couple of months for all of y'all that know and be keeping up, you know, my cousin being murdered at the beginning of March was real hard for me and the family. And ever since then, it's been a lot of craziness going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff I've been having to deal with. But, you know, I'm, I'm handling it the best way I can. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that all of this stuff comes into play. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a job, a real good job, paying me real good money, more than I've ever had starting on Friday. And all of this stuff happens within the same week. You know, I need my car to get to work. So it's, it's just crazy how I got to deal with all of this to be able to get my car and keep up with the good job that I just had. But I'm not going to let that jeopardize my job and all the stuff that I have going on for myself. And, um, you know, I'm practicing what I'm trying to preach. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job at holding it all together. And, um, you know, I just thought it was a I just thought it was a crazy situation and you know I wanted to share it with y'all. Like I said, I saw a baby girl talking about story time, so I was like, you know what? Just let me have a story time of my own. You know what I'm saying? I got something that I can put out there that I think I don't know how many people can relate to this, but I just wanted to use this video to talk about some positive things and put that positive energy out there. So I guess really the moral of the story that I was just telling was you know, like I said, man, just don't let, man, it's a crazy world we live in, man. Evil world, scary world. It's a lot of positive stuff going on, but it's a whole lot of negative stuff going on too. 
just much more negative stuff going on, if, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Everybody sees the world from a different uh, lens. But it's so many negative things happening around the world. And, you know, we need to, we need to combat that with positive thoughts, positive energy, and just love, man. And take some time to yourself. Meditate, you know what I mean? Just really get in tune. Try to change your thought patterns. Try to change the way you speak. Try to change the way you do things. Um, man, just, just move in positivity and love, y'all, and I swear it'll change things for the better. You know what I'm saying? This way to the bank, this little walk I took, I got to walk past these people's house twice. I could go up there and bang on the door and talk my shit. I could throw up middle fingers and bust out their windows, anything. But I'm not gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? That's not who I am. And I'm not gonna let them take me out of my character. I'm just gonna keep being positive. And I'ma just, you know, I'm just gonna spread love and spread positivity into that direction. Cause they need it. I don't know what they are going through, but they are going through something and they felt compelled to put that negative energy on someone else so they wouldn't be the only one suffering. But little do they know, like I said, I'm vibrating higher. You know what I'm saying? That negative energy didn't get to me. It, it like I said, I feel like the universe was testing me or is testing me. And when it happened, my reaction surprised me. You know, I had a little bit of anger. You know, I'm human. I had a little bit of anger and I felt some type of way, but I, I sat back and I assessed my anger and how I was feeling. And I was realizing that, you know, if I choose to keep on dwelling in this energy, I'm gonna sit in this basement, mad all day, not getting nowhere, not trying to talk to nobody, not trying to cooperate, just thinking about a way to get revenge and that's not healthy. That's gonna do nothing but block my blessings. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna, that's, gonna, that's gonna cause me to vibrate lower. That's gonna cause me to, you know, just 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 take 10 steps back instead of 10 steps forward, you know what I'm saying? So I use this as an opportunity to practice what I preach, work on me, and I think I'm handling it phenomenally if you ask me. For the people who know me, that's close to me, who know the story and see how I'm handling it, they keep telling me that they're proud of me. And that does a lot for me. You know what I'm saying? The fact that people, other people see the growth. Not only do I see the growth in myself, but other people see the growth. Um, that just pushes me to continue to practice what I preach and continue to move positively and just move in love. You know what I'm saying? And that's really all I wanted to put out there for you guys. You know, just move in love, man. Move in love, show love to everybody, no matter what. I'm being positive, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? I'm staying focused on my life and my goals and the things I want to manifest, no matter what. And, uh, you know, that's what's gonna help propel you to the next level. And that's where I'm trying to get to, the next level. You know what I'm saying? We're all spiritual beings, magical, powerful, strong, godly beings, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to get in tune with that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be as in tune with God, as in tune with the universe as possible, you know what I'm saying? And vibrating low, not showing love, putting hate out there in the world, not only put negative energy in your life, but everyone else's life, that's not gonna get you in tune with God. That's not gonna get you in tune with the universe. That's not gonna get you to the, to the level that you wanna get to. That's not gonna help you ascend to the level that you wanna get to. You know what I'm, I'm trying saying? Trying to raise higher. We kings and queens out here, y'all. We kings and queens, and we're powerful, godly beings. And we need to start believing that and moving in that moving in that light, you know what I'm saying? Believe that about ourselves because it's true. It's true. So, you know, like I said, I know I'm kind of rambling right now, but I just want, I just want my people to know that, 
You know what I'm saying? All my brothers and sisters out there, all my kings and queens, I want you to know that you're kings, you're queens, you're godly. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about the body, it ain't about the shell. You Now, mind you, you do need to, you know, improve yourself in every aspect, mentally, spiritually, and physically while you're in this life. But the body is just a shell, you know what I'm saying? We're spiritual beings, magic, powerful, godly, man. That's what we are. And we need to start accepting that. We need to start believing it. And we need to start moving in that light. And I just wanted to put that out there for y'all. And, you know, I hope y'all, you know, enjoy the things that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, boy, this humidity getting me, ain't it? Y'all see that sweat? What? But, uh, you know, like I said, man, just walk in your truth. Be greater. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I appreciate y'all, you know, listening, spending some time with me. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all enjoying our story times. You know what I mean? My baby girl had a, <laughs> a good story, pretty funny story she putting out there. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And, uh. You know, I hope y'all enjoyed this time with me. Make sure y'all subscribe, down low, hit that button, like us, comment on our videos, let us know what you thought, let us know what type of other videos that you guys wanna see, stuff like that. Share the video everywhere. Just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the people that just subscribed. Everyone who's continuing to follow us, we love y'all. Thank you for the support. And, uh, and you know, we're going to come. We're we, we going to come back with more consistent content, more fun stuff. Like I said, shoot us messages and comments. Let us know what you want to see. And we're going to make sure we can give it to y'all. Um, so, again, thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. And, uh, you know, we love y'all, man. And I'm going to end it right there. Peace.